Adding and subtracting square roots. Not a really difficult idea, but let me show it to you really quickly. Let's say we have uh, four square roots of seven plus five square root 11 plus six square root seven. I don't know, maybe nine, minus nine square root 11. What you do here is this. Combine, pay attention, it's important. Combine like radicals. I didn't mean radicals. I should have put radicans. I don't know where it came up with radicals. Radicans, that is to say, look inside the radical and look, this is what I'm talking about here. We have square root 7 here, square root 7 here. Here we have square root 11, square root 11 over here also. So how many square roots of 7 do we have? We have 4 of them here, we have 6 of them here, for a total of 10 square roots of 7. Plus, how many square roots of 11 do we have? We have 5 of them here, we have negative 9 of them here, so we have negative 4 square roots of 11. All right? Well, every once in a while they'll pitch you a curve on the GRE. So if they gave you this, if they gave you square root 12 plus 7 square roots of 3, got to be a little bit careful because this can be simplified. So we have to simplify this a little bit. So we're going to simplify here. And we know that this is the same as, right, square root of 3 times the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. So 2. So we have 2 square roots of 3. So we can rewrite this problem this way and say this is 2 square roots of 3 plus 7 square roots of 3 for a total of 9 square roots of 3. All right, you guys, I hope this was really helpful. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and your comments are always welcome. Thanks.